Hello everyone, today we are doing another House of the Dragon video and we will be discussing the new characters we will be seeing in Season 2. But before that, remember to like the video, it helps out the channel a lot and subscribe and yada yada yada, let's get to it. The first character we will be talking about and probably the most anticipated one is Kragen Stark who will be played by Tom Taylor. Kragen Stark is the Lord of Winterfell at this time and the Warden of the North. He is said to be about the same age as Jaceris Valarian. They changed this a little bit from the books. In the books, he was about eight years older. He is a stern and formidable lord like most Starks we have seen, but he's a bit more savvy when it comes to politics. His father died when he was young, and his uncle ruled the North as his regent. When he came of age, his uncle was not willing to release his power, so Cragen had to seize it, and he imprisoned his uncle. So though he may be young, he has been tested. The next character is Gwen Hightower who will be played by Freddy Fox. So in the show, he is the eldest son of Otto Hightower and the older brother to Queen Alison Hightower. So technically, we did see him in season one. He rode against Damon at the tourney and was defeated swiftly. But we didn't see his face, and now we do. In the books, he is the youngest son of Otto, so some more changes. He is a knight, so he should be quite a formidable opponent. The next character is Jane Aaron, who will be played by Amanda Collin. She is the Defender of the Vale and the Wardeness of the East. She is related to Rhaenyra Targaryen. Rhaenyra's mother is Emma Aaron, so Jane is a cousin of Rhaenyra's, which is why Rhaenyra believes she will join her side against the Greens. Jace will swing by the Vale to treat with her as well in Season 2. She is also battle-tested. With her being a woman, many of her male relatives question her rule and try to take the veil for themselves, though she was able to keep her power. She even put down several rebellions. The next character is Alice Rivers, who will be played by Gail Rackin. She is a bastard of the Riverlands, which is why her last name is Rivers. She is a servant of House Strong. Many people believe she is the bastard of Lionel Strong. She has black hair and is said to look younger than her age. She is a bit shrouded in mystery. She is said to make potions and has had visions in the flames. So like the priestess who followed the Lord of Light. Some think she is a woods witch with mystical powers. I suppose we'll find the truth of it next season. We also get the blood and cheese actors as well, Mark Stobert and Sam C. Wilson. These characters really don't have much of a backstory. They are cutthroats from Flea Bottom. They will be playing a major role this season and probably will have the most memorable scene this season. For that reason alone, I'm going to stop talking about them because I don't want to give too much away. The next character is Adam of Hall, who will be played by Clinton Liberty. He's a dragon seed and is able to claim a dragon, which we saw in the trailer for season two. He claims sea smoke. It is rumored that he is the bastard son of Corlys Velaryon because he was able to claim the beast. Dragon seeds, for those who don't know, are people who are bastards of Valerians. But the term kind of changed when the Dance of the Dragons starts. Jace knew the Blacks had more dragons than the Greens, but didn't have enough riders for them. So he issued a statement. Anyone who can claim a dragon will get lands and riches and the dragon they claim. Some people think only those of Valyrian descent can claim dragons, but it is very unclear, a fishwife's tale, if you will. But anyone who successfully claimed a dragon immediately became a dragon seed, even if they weren't of Valyrian descent. It was just assumed because they claimed a dragon. The next character is Alan of Hall, played by a Bakr Salam? His name's on the screen, I have no idea how to pronounce that. He is a bastard and the younger brother of Adam. He grew up in Hall, which is a town on Driftmark, which is the seat of House Valarian. I'm sure people can probably put two and two together, but he's also rumored to be the bastard son of Corlys. He also served the Valerian fleet during the Battle of the Sepstones, so he is battle-tested. The next character is Hugh Hammer, who will be played by Kieran Bew. Hugh Hammer will try to claim a dragon next season. He is the bastard son of a blacksmith on Dragonstone. Said to be very tall and very strong, though he cannot read. He is from Dragonstone, so him having some Valyrian blood is somewhat high. The next character is Ulf the White, played by Tom Bennett. He is said to have white hair, ergo Ulf the White. He will also be attempting to claim a dragon next season. With his hair being the color it is, could he have Valyrian blood? We'll find out. 
He is most known for his drinking, however, so he should be some good comic relief. The next character is Silver Danies, I believe I'm saying that right, who will be played by Robert Rhodes. Silver was a man living on Dragonstone when he heard Jace's claim, he immediately jumped at the opportunity to claim a dragon. Will he be successful or not? That is the question. He does have silver hair and purple eyes in the books, so him being a bastard of a Targaryen is very high. However, he claims to be the son of Maegor the Cruel. For those who don't know, Maegor was infamously unable to produce an heir with multiple women, which is why many think this claim is BS, but he's still a Targaryen, that is for sure. The next character is Simon Strong, played by Simon Russell. Simon Strong is a Castellan at Harrenhal. A Castellan is like a captain of the castle. He is in charge of the defense of the castle when the Lord himself is gone. He is the great uncle of Lars Strong. When the dance begins, he is already said to be an elderly man. Next character is Gunther Darklin, played by Stephen Pacey. He is the head of House Darklin, and his uncle serves on the Kingsguard. There isn't too much info on him, he won't be a main character or anything like that. The next character is Sir Rickard Thorne, played by Vincent Reagan. He's a Kingsguard member, he served under Viserys and will serve under Aegon now. He agreed with Kristen Cole that Aegon should rule over Rhaenyra. And those are some of the new characters we will see in Season 2 of House of the Dragon. I think the cast looks great. I can't wait to see what they bring to Season 2 of House of the Dragon. So what do you think of the new characters? Leave it down in the comments below. And if you want more House of the Dragon content, please subscribe and like the video. Check out the Twitter link in the description below. And as always, have an awesome day.